going to make carrot cake, um, but with butternut squash. I haven't got any carrots, and I bought butternut squash when we were out the other day, thinking I'll buy a butternut squash because that's really nice. We had that uh, the other day, and I enjoyed it, and then came home, and I realised I've got one still, so I've now got two. So I'm substituting the carrot for... Um, the grated carrot for butternut squash or with butternut squash and um, I've got Mark um, currently um, sorting out ready to peel it because I won't be able to do that my hands are out of action today I have been out of action for um, two days ish I can use them but I'm trying to be really careful and not not overuse them because they are so painful and I'd forgotten that I'd got these these are compression gloves and they've got um, copper in them and I've used them I bought them I don't know about a year ago and um, I didn't feel that they worked um, I didn't notice the difference but having been in pain for hours since about I don't know four o'clock this morning when I got up eventually um, I took my meds and I took my dolly pram and I remembered these when I put these on and after about an hour I was pain free they're a little achy now I've just topped up on the dolly pram, but um, I'm really, really pleased with them. It's it, it's good. They've um, and I want to keep them on, so I'm going to get him to do some of the things I can't do. But once he's peeled and sliced into manageable pieces, the butternut squash, I'll be able to use the food processor for the rest. The other thing I need to substitute is um, for the cream cheese icing, I haven't got any cream cheese, but I've got Greek yogurt and I can use that instead, so that will work. I'm just looking and I can see loads of, it's a beautiful, it's really warm out here. Um, I don't know what it is, I, did, I forgot to look. Really warm, beautiful day and um, it's one of those days, and I think they do it all the time actually, but when the sun is low, you can see it more, the, the spiders um, flying on their silk. I don't know whether you can see, I'm going to, no, you, I don't think you can, but just, just, no, just on the left hand side of the um, camera is the telephone line coming across and there's a load sort of that have got caught on there. Um, when we were heading down um, this morning to um, town, so I saw several, um, um, skeins several skeins of Gru going over they weren't doing their V formation I don't know why but they were off to the the east of us which is where they you know that we're, 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 we're on the edge of the flyway but as we were coming back I did see one lot going over that would have come over the house had we been here but we weren't um, it's still quite quiet today it's Saturday so it's Saturday after Armistice Day and it's a lot quieter than a normal Saturday, I think. Although um, it was very busy when we went down this morning uh, to Leclerc. Um, thank you to, and I'm sorry I've forgotten your name, who told me that it was that I was ambivalent. You're right, I couldn't find the word yesterday. Um, I suppose the closest I got was that it began with A. Um, I, you know, my dad, my dad was a prisoner of war for five years and Mark's dad was a, um, a a rear gunner. I think he was a rear gunner. I might have got that wrong during the the, the latter part of the war. So um, it's not that we forget, and and we haven't forgotten. And I think my ambivalence was more to do with the ritual. It's about the you know people buying potties, potties, people buying potties, people saying lest we forget, and the whole ritual around it that just doesn't. It's like a lot of words that aren't being, it's it's um, all talk and no walk and, and I, I don't like stuff like that. I, I, I just get irritated by it because I think there's a lot of that around, isn't there? In many, many areas, there's a lot of that, you know, all talk, no, no walk. Um, and yeah, I don't like stuff like that. So that's, that's what I meant. I didn't mean any disrespect to um, those that had fought in the war. So yes, a bit of a short one, but I'm going to go off and um, I 
I said, I'm going to go and do a vlog. You peel the butternut. So he said, well, you're not going to stop and watch. And I said, well, no, because I, I get told off for supervising. So I'm going to go in now and um, watch. Watch, but not supervise. Butternut squashes are really hard to peel. He did threaten to get his sander out. He better not be doing that. I'm definitely going in. <laughs>